Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Good morning, you. You beautiful person that has nothing better to do right now than to watch Trucker Josh vlogs. How's it going? If you're new or just clicking on my videos for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my 2,500 other videos. There's quite a few out there over the past seven years, something like that. We make a new video every day. We travel across all of North America. Uh, for the past year or so, we've been sort of stuck in Western Canada mostly and the Midwest of the US, but we wander out to Ontario sometimes. If you go to my past videos, we've been to Newfoundland and, and Yukon up north, close to the Alaska border. We've been to California on some uh, personal trips, down to Florida with the truck, all over the place. So uh, if you guys wanna check those out, sure, if you guys just wanna subscribe and join us for the ride, that's cool too. Everybody's welcome. I gotta get going here. We're uh, on our way to Fort McMurray, Alberta. We have a load of styrofoam on my trailer behind me uh, that I picked up in Missouri. So we've been driving for three days already. Today is delivery day. And then I had a load in Fort Mac that was taking me back to Winnipeg, that fell through. So I'm going back down to Edmonton, probably to load tomorrow morning, a load of lumber that's gonna take me back home to Manitoba. Off we go. So I was telling you yesterday a little bit that uh, my e-log system has been giving me problems and has been crashing on me. Uh, it would turn off, then it would turn on, then it would turn off for a day, then it would turn on for a day. And uh, I've been having, it's been messing up my logs. So I was ordered onto e-logs and back to the yard ASAP. So we have eight days of grace with the US but we're in Canada right now. And in Canada, you don't need e-logs. You can still be on paper logs until I think later this year, or did that happen already? There's also an e-log mandate coming through here in Canada, and there's not nearly as big of a fight against it as there was in the US. In the US, there's a, there was a big thing when they did that. In Canada, everyone's just, no, oh, okay, all right. I guess we'll have to follow the law. <laughs> but I got, I'm getting a new e-log system put into my truck, the whole thing, the brains, wiring and everything. Uh, they gotta do that on Friday, maybe Saturday morning. And then I gotta get a new steer tire on this truck and we'll be back on the road Monday morning it looks like to deliver that lumber next Tuesday in Wisconsin. I showed you guys yesterday, right? My, my steer tire that needs to be replaced. It had worn a little funny because it was on my passenger side and I didn't rotate them soon enough my fault so it, it wore down a little too much so I rotated them and then it just by that point it, it's it's already all worn funny <coughs> so it's been wearing really fast faster than it should and uh, maybe it maybe you might say that it's my steering that's out of alignment but I'm pretty sure that's not the case I'll get that checked anyway just just in case but yeah, so that tire needs to be replaced. I'm not looking forward to it because those tires cost like seven to nine hundred dollars. Seven hundred to nine hundred dollars. I'll have to look into it again. I've got BF Goodriches on here right now, and they've done good for me, other than the one wearing funny, but the other one's fine. I sort of want to stick with them. I like them. They lasted a long time for me. These are the steer tires I had on my old Freightliner years ago. Remember that I had my Freightliner parked for three years and then I took those tires off the Freightliner, put them on here, and they've still been good for almost a year. And the other one's gonna last probably through next winter yet if it doesn't start wearing funny. Been really impressed with the longevity of those BF Goodriches. I prefer Michelin myself, I think they're the best, but BF Goodrich is a very close second. But from my experience, you know, BF Goodrich has actually been better than Michelin. I actually have them slightly ahead of Michelin in my mind. But what are your favorite tires out there, drivers? Let me know down below. What are some good drive tires for winter roads here in Winnipeg? All season, I need, them, I need to use them in summer too because I don't switch them, right? So what, what kind of tires would you recommend me to put on my truck at the, uh, the end of this season before next winter? We got some Alberta oversized loads here. Wow. 
check these out. This is actually pretty common in Alberta. That's why these lanes are so wide, right? This is a wide highway. Escort vehicles aren't getting in my way, so that means I can pass. Check this out. Wow. What is that? So this is Fort McMurray. I don't know what's on my window there. What is that? Bird poop or what? I didn't even see that there. I've never been to Fort McMurray before. A huge part of this town burnt. You can see off to the left all those trees. They're all burnt. A huge forest fire ripped through here a year or two ago and burnt half the city to the ground. Very sad and tragic for the people who, who live here. It looks like they've been doing a re good, uh, I mean, a, a really good job rebuilding. If you want to see pictures of it, it was devastating. Uh, go to Google and type in Fort McMurray, Alberta wildfire. And look at the images. Houses, whole entire neighborhoods burnt right to the ground. Only the basements were left. All of this off to the left, that was all on fire. Surprised I haven't passed the sign yet. The official welcome to the boonies. I am way out here, way, way out here. Further than I've ever been. I passed a couple of huge oil sand projects already. Massive. I'm delivering this directly to one of them. Up the road here a little ways. It was paved. Now this last section is still gravel. Surprised they haven't paved it, but yeah, it is what it is. Amazing that underneath all of this is a whole bunch of black gold. Huh. Are there any of you in my comment section that work out here or live out here? I think most people would say they work out here. A lot of people come from all regions of Canada to work here. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't work here, but I, I know some people that have and that do. It's hard to find a job here that is under six figures a year. <laughs> Even driving truck, you can make a ton of money. Like this guy in front of me is probably making double what I'm making. But you gotta live way out here in the middle of nowhere. Is this where I gotta turn? No, I gotta keep going straight, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go straight a little while longer. They got me all dressed up, all kinds of fancy. Flame retardant coveralls and everything. I need to buy myself a pair of these, actually. I should do that right now, order them off Amazon. I'm very lucky, uh, the, the time so far that I've gone to a site like this, they've had spare coveralls for the drivers because a lot of drivers don't carry them, even though we should. Uh, these are special coveralls that you need to use at special sites like this. Uh, flame retardant, it sort of spells, or, or sort of speaks for itself. Uh, it doesn't burn as easily as other stuff, so. This is what they require us to wear here when I'm outside my truck. But since I'm inside my truck now, I'm all done. All ready for them to unload me. I don't think I need to wear this anymore. So I'm not allowed to show around the site here either while I'm on site. So just inside my truck. I think I can take this off. I don't think they're gonna need me out there anymore. I got all my straps off, tarps are off, rolled up, strapped to the back of the deck already. Bungees are all taken care of. All they need to do is take my stuff off and I'm out of here. I don't even need to get out again. It's been a good day though. So from here we head back to Edmonton, which is, I don't even know how far away it is. A couple hours, right? Three, three, four hours? I don't know, I'll have to put it into my GPS here. Mandy, speak to me. Flame resistant, not flame retardant. I think that's the same thing, isn't it? But it says flame resistant, FR. This fit perfectly and it was a 46 tall. Cool. 
I need to order one of these right now. I have to leave this here. I have to give it back, unfortunately. Apparently, they're like 170 bucks. Nice of them to let me borrow them, though. Can't even fold properly, can I? Man, do these oil sand sites have a lot of rules. Not only were I, like, I picked up this load, they had so many rules and regulations. Same thing here. Wow, they must have had a lot of accidents that they gotta be so careful. They gotta have so many rules. I keep saying to people, all you gotta do is get me to sign a waiver when I come on a property. I'll go check in, sign this waiver. It can be very simple. It can be in large font so that everyone can read it. If you hurt yourself on our site, it is not our fault. If you hurt someone else on our site, it is your fault. Sign on the dotted line. I know it's not that easy. <laughs> if only it was, right? They can't do that because they don't want anyone else getting hurt. So they gotta make sure that they babysit you the entire time you're there to make sure you don't hurt anybody or yourself. Nothing you can do about it. It does help to prevent accidents. I mean, their whole slogan was around keeping their workers safe. They're... So, it's good. If they're strict on their rules, that means that no one will get hurt. I needed something quick and I don't know this town and I don't know where I can park and I needed coffee so we got Burger King coffee and a Burger King burger diesel you think people will forgive me no comment <laughs> well I'll show you my trailer real quick we're just about to leave Fort McMurray and it's actually about five hours down to Edmonton from here be loading there tomorrow morning. There we go. Got my tarps all the way at the end over there. Well, Fort Mac, it was fun. Or is it Fort McMurray? Because there's a Fort McKay up north of Fort McMurray. Is that Fort Mac? I always thought that Fort McMurray was Fort Mac when people were talking about it. It would make more sense if Fort McKay was Fort Mac. Somebody let me know. We're out of here. A long drive back to Edmonton. Long drive of wilderness. Just arrived to the city of Edmonton. And I don't trust the truck stops in the city here to have parking for me. I very highly doubt there will be any. Kilometers on Highway 216 West. So I'm gonna drive 13 kilometers on Highway 16 West. And we're gonna take Highway 16 out to Atchison, Alberta, which is just pretty much 15 to 20 kilometers or like 10 to 15 miles west of the city and there they got some big truck stops they got the Esso I mean the you know the Husky Esso there the Petro Canada and there's much more probability that there are spots there for me and that's where we'll spend tonight and tomorrow morning we'll come back into the city load up that lumber and head home I won't quite get home tomorrow I'll get close maybe 
but uh, be home the day after. And then, uh, have I told you already? Yeah, then I'll be home till Monday morning, and then Monday morning we're continuing down to Wisconsin. So we got Husky Esso off to our right. It's got a bit of a bigger lot. We got Petro Pass off to our left. Bit of a smaller lot, but I prefer Petro Pass. I, I don't know why. We're gonna go try Petro Pass first, and if there's no spots there, we'll go over and check Husky over there on the right. Either way, we're gonna make a parking spot at one of those two places. Oh, well, this is two lanes. I was treating it as one. Okay, there's two lanes here. Let's pick one. One of these two places will be our home tonight. As soon as we get the go ahead here from Mr. Green. Look at that double red light. Can, does the camera pick that up? Both those red lights, they have two red lights just to make sure you see them. There we go. How come they don't got double green arrows on each light then too, just you know? It's not really fair. I like green way better than red. Alrighty, here we go. It looks pretty packed. Pretty packed there, bud. Oh, no more room for me. We'll see. We're in the parking lot, so headlights go off. Not everybody can do that, but I can, so I will. Well, I could park here in front of Mr. Car Hauler, right? Who's well, to say I can't park right here? Well, we'll do a lap of the lot first and see what we come up with. There's uh, I, I don't think I can park here because this is where the fuel guy comes and <laughs> brings fuel. Don't want to block that access, otherwise he'll be waking me up in the middle of the night telling me to move. Then again, who am I kidding? It is already the middle of the night. I want to go to bed. There's got to be a place I can park around here somewhere. Look at it's just packed right up to the eyeballs. All the way around the edges. Can you guys see that? Is the camera picking that up? They need more lot lights here. Any free spaces for Shaggy Jack? We'll go around the front first. It looks pretty full in here. Come on, nobody saved me a spot. I told you I was coming, nobody saved me a spot. It's not very nice, not very neighborly. Somebody dropped a trailer here, that's not nice either. I could have used that spot. Oh, 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 oh. There is an open spot here. I just can't get into it because that guy's parked there on the right. And this guy's not parked. One of these guys is not parked straight. All right. I'll do another lap. If I don't find anything else, I can try and squeeze in there. We had to go across the street to the Husky. I think I found a spot. I at least I made one at least. I'm like right on the edge over here. Cement barriers over here on that side of the driveway right there. I don't know. It's a spot now. Good enough for me. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. It's been a long day again. It's the middle of the night again. Ugh. Tomorrow there is a sunshine at the end of the rainbow. That's what I was gonna say. Where did that come from? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a saying that makes sense. The load we're picking up tomorrow is taking us home sweet home where we have lots of work waiting for us. Yes, it's gonna be great. I actually really enjoy yard work. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be home for a few days and I'm getting a whole new e-log system and a new tire. I'm going to bed now though because I can hardly stand up. So if this isn't a parking spot, well, too bad it is now, because I'm going to sleep.